All right. So is it? Um, it's it's not even easy to make a, a circle in this space, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, well, I'm so glad that you guys are here, and thank you, Yudit, for this awesome invitation. And I um. So this room was a lot about responding to this moment of being kind of isolated and trying to find different ways of being together or feeling connected to other people or like new protagonists that I found in my life, like the sea and um, the la like different landscapes that I'm now starting to become more acquainted with. And so there's lots of rocks and things I can hold in my hand and rocks that remind me of different people. And there's a breath score of different um, people breathing that I've been collecting since like March, I think, um, when we started going into lockdown. So lots of my friends are breathing together. <laughs> and, um, and then there's also a poem by Walt Whitman about, um, it's called The Beach at Night Alone. And I found this poem in my great grandfather's book from Walt Whitman. So it's also been interesting to have like different connections both to like my family and my friends during this time um and then the last thing is the sound of a ram's horn which i've been playing a lot out in the landscape near my studio uh and uh and so that's sort of like a different kind of call i think of thinking about different ancestors um and being together in that way so I thought if you guys feel comfortable in using your mic, that I kind of wanted to explore new ways of being together in this space with our, like to feel the body a bit more. And so I thought the first thing we could do, if you guys are okay with it, is to kind of, when I, when I say like, let's start, is to kind of just answer the question of like, how are you doing or how is your morning going? Um, so we could all sort of speak together if you if you guys feel okay doing that and like i've done this once in a zoom before and it was just interesting to have these different words kind of um rise to the surface um in and out and have this kind of like collective cantation of how things are going and um so if you guys would humor me would do, do you, how do you guys feel about doing this? Yes or no? We would Amazing. love to. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, so yeah. wanna, let's spend like two minutes maybe just like talking about like how our morning is and how we're feeling, if it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start now. So this morning, this morning is very sunny. About, I'm so in um, transition. And or, uh, so hard to find the place and how to be myself again in this new place. But the sparkling light helps a lot. It's good and so alive with all this little moss and nature. And I'm so grateful that I can experience all these different physicalities. It's just feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I'm very curious and very thankful that I can be together with all this amazing people. I would be very happy to try out the new pedals and get on that lake. All right, friends. <laughs> thank you for inviting <laughs> us. The other thing I wanted to ask is if we could make like weird sounds with our mouths. So like if you want to gargle, whistle, make weird body sounds, would you guys humor me in doing this together? <laughs> Please, yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to fill up my cup with water to gargle. I've been practicing my gargling skills for all these videos. Um, but yeah, whatever weird noises you want to make that your body can make, I'd really love to do it together. Okay. Oh, 
Of course, yeah. We have about five more minutes. And I just wanted to say thank you so much. Um, yes, if anyone would like to start uh, asking any questions, this is a great time. In any language. <laughs> <laughs> or, or any kind of sound. <laughs> yes. I uh, am very interested in, in your rocks and, and the pebbles and how it also seems like a, 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 almost a, just, just the gesture of holding a stone or to connect with the rock seems to ground us in this space and, it, um, and all these practices to like be together in here and, and making this uh, sound certainly creates an aliveness that I haven't really experienced in this type of meetings before. And um, I was wondering, like, what are these, uh, the pebbles that we see around? Are they also belong to the, the people who are breeding or is it partially um, the same or where are the pebbles from? Yeah, they're from, well, there's the, the pebble videos are from the headlands from, from an act I like to do called pebbling. <laughs> with my friends where we just go to Rodeo Beach and look for beautiful pebbles because the pebbles there are like so remarkable mm. and they're also the same pebbles that were uh, used to like build all of the concrete structures around the headlands um, so it's interesting to like have this one-to-one -one of, of the built environment around you with like the, the material that is on shore and beaten away by time um, and the other stone, so you also have some concrete pebbles, like pieces of the pebbles that, uh, uh, pieces of concrete that have been washed up on shore. And um, so, and the other rocks are rocks that are ones that I found in different places with different people. So they are connections to different landscapes. And it, it's been really amazing. Like, I don't know, they've become more and more meaningful now that like, being at home is really what uh, you know we travel like I feel like I travel through these different touches in some ways mm -hmm. it's a now that I I have been in this transition I was just thinking about like how do you how is it really grounding you how hard is it to move with all the rocks and how can you just actually be in in a place more rooted when you have a rock collection <laughs> and though I, I really appreciate the the pebble video um, i if you haven't had the chance to see it yet it's the the sphere with with all the pebbles and i i i find it so fascinating to see your fingers becoming pebbles and just like this uh trans fluid uh materiality between a human body and like the animate and inanimate matter in this digital space. Hmm. Yeah. I think like what I was like pretty excited by by working in here for the first time is that like how sound works and like how relational it is versus being so flat on Zoom and our bodies become so flat so that there's more space just in the way we experience this world. And I think, I don't know, it's interesting to bring the rocks into that too. In mm. how, how about the water? Would you like to tell a, a little about the, how you feel about the, comparing rocks and water well i was like pretty interested in like so there's like little jokes in here because there's like the pre-made water and like the pre-made rocks but then there's also the videos of the water and videos of the rocks 
And I was just interested in combining these elements that are that are pre-made for us versus like places and materials that I've experienced or touched with my hands. And I wanted to like see what they're like together. So I guess it's just about like experimenting with the scene and moving. Mm -hmm. I think it, it's it's worked out very well. Does any any uh, body would like to ask any some questions? Please feel free to to jump in, move over her avatar, ask whatever you would like to or <laughs> share. How are you feeling here? And also. Mm -hmm. If uh, if everybody could go to one video sphere, which which one would you would you recommend everybody go to? Um, I like the one. I mean, the pebble one is really great, but I also love the one that has like two intersecting videos, which is with the water and the gargling sound. Hmm. And if you find yourself. I think I can't see it from here. I think it's beyond this hand. If you move through the, this hand, you'll see it below you. Mm -hmm. I, I have a question. I was wondering when you were building this out, did you have a plan as to like where you wanted things to be like from the start or did you kind of just kind of iteratively add things and then see how you felt about them and then change them around after? Yeah, I, I um, changed things a lot. Like I did, I've never used uh, I've never worked in hubs before, so this is my first time. So figuring out like the way things work was a big part of this process, and also moving things around in in spoke. So yeah, it was very much like looking at something, changing it, looking at something, bringing in new things. Have you worked with? Um, and sorry, I'm putting my hubs hat on right now. Have you worked with 3D modeling tools before at all, or was this like your first time in 3D modeling as well? This is my first time with all with all of that. Oh, that's amazing! I'm so happy to hear that. That's with, cool. <laughs> all because of you, did she was my she was my shepherd. <laughs> but but this is such a such a perfect tool, and it's uh, simply easy. And Dajin is always here for us to help us, which is thank you so much. So I think it is such an interesting thing what artists are making with this uh, new territory. That's very exciting. Very exciting to hear about people using it that have not like worked in 3D modeling and stuff too. Because our, our goal is to make it so that it's really accessible to people who maybe are not familiar with that space from, from the get-go. So this is really cool. I, I really enjoyed exploring your space. It's huge. <laughs> Thank you for coming.